What's up guys my name is Priyanshu and in last video we have seen that the structural directive implementation now in this video we are going to implement the attribute directives so name suggests the attribute directives is nothing but just a custom attribute which are going to apply on the uh, elements or custom elements okay so uh, in the last video last to last video uh, we have discussed about the attribute directives and and saw one example of input box so input box uh, with with the auto grow attribute so when it get focus so it will change the uh, border as well as the width of the uh, text box so this can be implemented by using the custom auto grow directive okay so now we are going to apply this auto grow property so let's open our visual studio so as we know uh, everything in the type uh, angular is a class so when we we want to implement or we want to create the directives it's just a simple typescript class which is decorated by the directive uh, decorator okay so let's create our directive file right click on app new auto grow dot directive dot ts okay enter so let's create a class so class should be export so it can be uh, available for the outside outside use okay, export class now so uh, to work with directives we need to import couple of classes from the core library okay angular slash core library so let's import that import from angular at the rate angular at the rate angular slash core so from that we have to first import the directives which are going to decorate our class and next is element ref which is used for uh, identifying the dom element that is the host element which are going to apply our auto grow property means a text box next is renderer so which we which is going to modify our element okay so next one is uh, host listener host listener is used for uh, binding the custom event host element get focus means uh, uh, text box get focus and get blur or come out of the focus for that we have to use the host listener class so i uh, we will uh, go in deep detail in that okay uh, so how to implement it and all so let's decorate our class as a directive so do, uh, in the angular uh, for the decorator we use the add the rate and directives directive and this is the method and it will take the object json object so here one property is there that is the selectors so for the directive uh, attribute directive we have to use the select css selector and uh, that is the attribute selector means this uh, that attribute selector we have used the square bracket and inside that we have provide the selector okay so selector is auto grow okay let's make okay auto grow now uh, inject our both element ref and renderer in our auto grow constructor so uh, it will give the objects of both and we can use the methods related with it okay so constructor so guys uh, if you are um, uh, don't aware of the that uh, dependency injection so don't worry about this uh, we are going to uh, learn about in in the next video that is the uh, services we will learn about the dependency injection on all but for this video just you should know the about the syntax of dependency injection okay for injecting these classes inject it in the constructor okay so constructor we uh, we inject in the constructor so let's private variable private uh, el el for element ref element ref and second one is renderer that is private renderer and which is type of renderer so it will give the objects of renderer and element ref okay so it assign into the local variable that local variable which is renderer and element ref okay next is create uh, create css class so which is change the behavior of our uh, 
uh, text box so go to our index dot uh, css html so i have already created one simple class that is the dot focus so it will get the width of i'll make it 300 okay and uh, border color should be red okay so this class will be uh, will be apply when it get uh, when text box get focus and uh, uh, when text box get blur or get out of focus it will remove that class okay for that we having the host listener class so just define one method that is the focus when text box get focus uh, so it will apply that focus class so how do, how can we do this so renderer uh, this dot renderer so that dot we having the set element class property or oh, sorry method in this method get three arguments okay so first argument is a host element host element means when uh, which are we are going to apply this auto grow at uh, directive okay so so how can we get this by using this el element reference okay this dot element el dot native element so by uh, by this we can get the uh, host element next uh, next uh, argument is uh, class which is are which are going to apply okay so in this case we having the focus okay focus and uh, third uh, third argument is boolean value so when uh, if we pass true then then only it will apply the class uh, this focus class if we, uh, we if you pass false so it will remove that class okay true will pass true so how can we know that uh, this focus event uh, focus method should be trigger when it will get focus by using the host listener we can make this method as a trigger for listening the event okay so for that we are going to decorate this method by using the host listener and inside we have to pass the event which event on which event this method should be called okay so in this case we are having the focus event so the same same for the when uh, focus get out okay or get blur for this blur we are having the blur event and method should be blur we can use any name of this method okay but just remember that you should uh, mention the proper event otherwise it will not work and in this case we should remove this class so how can we remove this class by using by passing false value as a third argument of this uh, method okay so now our directive is ready so we have to register this directive with the app module so go to our app module import our directive so how can import my laptop is little bit slow so import import statement you just go import statement it will give you the boilerplate code and dot slash in the current directory so we having the auto grow dot directive auto grow prop uh, attribute okay attribute directive so it should pass inside the declaration array so in this way we can uh, means uh, we can declare declare our auto grow property so uh, in inside our application we can use this auto grow property anywhere okay so next step is go to our app dot component dot ts means the which is the root component okay so in that we having a text box that text box having the auto grow uh, attribute okay now for running the application open our windows uh, terminal or uh, command prompt so we can use control shift p and type new command prompt and type npm start okay so it will run our application so uh, our application is running and the text box is rendered okay so let's see when i get focus on this it will change the border of uh, uh, text box as well as the width of the text box okay now i am i get out of focus so it will retain its original position now let's inspect it now here the class is there so now i just uh, just notice that it will when it get focus uh, the focus class will be apply on this okay let's see observe yeah this is the 
focus class will be apply okay okay uh, in this case so in this way we can implement the custom attribute directive guys in this way we are uh, we can implement the attribute directives so you can implement any kind of uh, uh, custom attributes attributes by using the attribute directives okay so uh, uh, if you like this video please uh, so please share likes and subscribe to get further updates and uh, if you have any questions or any uh, any suggestions please comment in the below section so thanks guys